What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So it's quarter to eight and it's Friday morning. And I'm heading to the Goodwill bins and at the bins I look for everything. Clothes, hard goods, you name it. I have found everything and anything at that place and contrary to a lot of people think, um, it's not all junk. People think it's trash that it hasn't sold in stores but you find a lot of good stuff at least at mine. So if you have one near you I suggest checking it out. But either way Let's get over there because they're going to open in 10 minutes and let's have some good luck. So looking through some hard goods, I see a camera box. When I open it up, it looks like it's still brand new in the pack. I don't know if that has any value, but we'll take a look. The very next bin, right in the corner. See eyeglass frames? I always check out the brands. They're so lightweight, I'll just throw them in my bag and I'll verify whether they're real or not later. Continuing in this bin is another pair of Ray-Bans. Just found the rock band guitar and I see the drums. I'll probably leave those, but I will take the bass drum pedal. So I've gone through all the hard good aisles for now and they're just bringing out a new clothing aisle so let me get over there and see what we got. Here's a good example of fake Levi's. If you just didn't know and you look at the back you would think they were. But if you look at the coin pocket If you look at the inside top button, should have a stamp code for a factory. This is just circles. And if you look at the inside of the rivets, should also say LS and Co SF, like the outside, and these do not. So while they're bringing out the new aisle, I'm waiting over here and I'm looking up a couple of things I got and I spot another guitar. All right, in the last aisle of clothing I just went through, as soon as they said go, right in front of me under the pile as I moved it, perfectly folded vintage t-shirt 1997. I think it says Fox Kids Network. It was just perfectly folded. So a great single stitch find. And they just pulled out another hard good aisle so as soon as it clears out and there's some room, I'll go through. All right, decent little bins haul. Not the best that I've had, but definitely got some profitable items. All right, so today's trip to the bins is complete. Now I'm going to go buy a local thrift and see what they have. All right, so I just pulled up to the other place. I'm waiting for a parking spot in front. But um, when I was checking out at the bins, the woman in front of me puts her bag onto the scale and it says seven pounds. And she goes, oh, no, 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 seven pounds, like it was wrong. So she goes, let me look. And she goes in her bag, and she pulls out a five-pound dumbbell. <laughs> Throws it to the side and reweighs it. And she goes, okay, that's better. Like, she acted surprised that it weighed seven pounds when you had a five-pound dumbbell. Ah, oh, some people, man, I don't know. Them. Some people just, I don't get it. But either way, as soon as someone moves their car, I could get in here. You know, see what this place has to offer today. You know, it's all about luck and timing for the most part. The skill and knowledge lets you know what to grab when you see it. But the timing and luck is to be in the store when that item is on the shelf. How's everything? I'm good, how are you? Very good, thank you. Pair of 501 in black, 34-34. Not vintage, but they'll sell. There's a nice jacket, Tommy Bahama. This is beautiful. What is that, velvet?
Here's a pair of Levi 540s. Vintage paper tag. Made in USA. From 1999. 540 flex. 38 by 29. Kind of short. Plus they were hemmed. I'm gonna probably, God, I don't know. I'll think about these. Always check the front cases. All right, so I'm back home. Gonna have some lunch, relax a little bit, maybe watch a few YouTube videos, and then I'll go out in the garage and do everything. I got some lunch. Look at this. Salmon roll and tuna roll. Good stuff. But on the last clip, or one of the last clips when I was in the store, and you heard me say hello to a woman, and I don't know if it showed up on sound, but she said, how are sales going? And that was the manager of the thrift store. So I know I hear people, you know, in chats or in other videos, you know, talk about when stores know you're a reseller, that makes them price up things and so forth. You know, maybe it's true in some places, maybe it's true at Goodwill, but at that local thrift store, it is not. That is a very nice person. She's really cool. And I've talked to her. And, you know, of course, you don't come right out, hey, I'm Steve and I'm a reseller. But over time, you just be nice to people. It doesn't hurt. And you never know what's going to pay dividends. And um, even if you don't get nothing out of it, you're just being friendly and nice to someone who you see all the time. But that manager has told me she knows the majority of her customers are resellers. If she were to price things up, well, they're not going to buy things, and then the store, which supports a food bank, is not going to have funds to do that. So they keep prices really low. I mean, clothes are like two, three bucks. Hard goods are, you know, you find one, two, three dollars. Everything is very low priced and keeps you buying. I go there once or twice a week, buy, buy, buy. They're getting stuff for free. They're selling it for a few bucks. They know you're going to make money on it, but they're getting plenty of income coming in to support their charity. And with that said, I'm going to enjoy some lunch and I will go through the haul. All right, so before I get into the haul, I do got to pack up a few things for the mailman. I'm not going to go through them all in this video, but one of them is a large package. It's four a vintage like work carpentry clamps, weighs like nine pounds. And whenever you have something that's big and heavy, it's definitely worth your time. It takes a couple of seconds to do it. But don't just go to USPS right away because it's going to be your most expensive. Always hit your drop down and look at the prices for once you put in your dimensions of what UPS ground would be and what FedEx home delivery will be. And those are almost always going to be cheaper. So I'm going to show you a big price difference in the item I'm shipping out today. So this is the box 24 by 9 by 5. It weighs 9 pounds, 8 ounces. So priority... $27.89. UPS ground, $14.43. FedEx home delivery, $15.64. I am going with FedEx because um, Walgreens is right around the corner and it's an easy drop off. All right, so here's the haul. Start with the bins and I will show comps for everything as much as I can so you know why I buy it and um, you know, know that I'm not just guessing at things. And then it gives you some confidence to buy them if you see them. All right, we'll go around with the small goods first. This is just a flannel pillowcase pair of them by Kenneth, made in USA, so they're vintage. Next up, we have these Sakawi. These are exercise bands, obviously brand new. They were just laying in the bin. And um, these do have some decent value on them. 
I took that drum pedal from the Beatles rock band, but um, these guitar pedals will go for like in the 20s. Grab this pair of like chucker boots. These are kind of like hipster style boots. Decent condition, even though they have like scratches and look, you know, wear to them. They're still in good condition. People like that look. Found two pair of eyeglasses. I know I showed these in the video. They both were marked Ray-Ban. And after looking up the model numbers, they are legit. And most glasses on the inside arm, there you can see it. You'll find model numbers as well as the sizing for the frame. And I know I also sold this camera. It's Panasonic TS25 Lumix. This was in the bin after the rush. And it's amazing what people just ignore. I had all the paperwork and it seemed to have everything. And everything is still sealed in the bag. Brand new. All right, I've got this RC. It's a new bright Hummer H3 off-road RC car. It is just the truck. There's no battery. There's no remote. The battery compartment on the bottom. The door is missing. But I am going to sell it just as the body kit. Parts only. And as you see on the screen, there was one that just was the top of the car. Sold for like 27 almost 30 bucks. Okay, for the clothing from the bins. Found this floral print rip curl hat. No big deal. I'll give it a oxy bath. Little starch, you know, I get 10 to 15 bucks out of it. On this t shirt, Soul Eater. Um, I'm not up on this type of stuff. I believe this is just some type of Japanese anime. On the shirt, it says Akushi Akubo, something like that. What? 2009, so not vintage. Found a pair of Levi's orange tab. Whoever had them did cut the tab off, but you can still see the orange. 37954. And these are just shorts. They are vintage. Obviously, orange tab is vintage. And then you can also tell by the paper tag. These are women's shorts. And then this t-shirt was just folded perfectly like I showed in the video. It's on a marina tag. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Made in USA. All right, Fox Kids Network. And it is single stitch on the sleeve, but double stitch at the bottom. Dated 1997. So I'll give this an oxy bath. It does have some staining, discoloring on the neck. But this should do all right, especially on Depop. All right, and when I found the drum pedal, I also found this guitar. I found this actually first. And um, I've never seen this one before. Now, I'm not big into video games. I don't know a lot about it. Then, of course, I showed you earlier. I also found this one. I know that one's for the Wii. You could tell by the plug and the controller port. Aerosmith guitar, another one worth a pickup.